All right, so I haven't had you guys for a few days. Um, you know, guys are working hard out there. It was good that it was hotter today than it had been um, to push them, get them uncomfortable. So <clears throat> um, a lot of new guys, as you guys know. So a lot of work to do with them. Same story, you know, on and off the field. I think our coaches have done a good job so far. There's a lot of meshing together there as well with half the staff being new and a new strength coach. So it's great to have a training camp. You know, sometimes you got so many returning pieces, it's not as important, and you're more managing just to stay healthy. This would not be the case. I hate to ask, but we haven't talked to him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Kincaid Den as well, if you could throw him in there. Yeah, so, you know, all the guys are getting a lot of plays. We run two fields, as you guys know, so um, both fields are – really important, especially in the fall, because you got better numbers. So you got some good players down there um, on the other field to throw to and to look at. So, you know, I think, I know it just sounds company line, but all three have done some good things and um, and have done some bad things. Thought we were more accurate today. Uh, we've not been accurate, middle of the deep throws, and that was the emphasis of the day. And they responded with that. Instead of, under, instead of overthrowing these long foul balls. <clears throat> we talked to Zach Evans and Ulysses Bentley yesterday, and they brought up Kinshawn Judkins as somebody who's improved a lot and has really stood out to them. Uh, do you see him as being a legitimate part of this running back room rotation this year? I do. You know, I kind of look at things from a personnel standpoint. You know, when I go out there, you know, kind of general manager-ish, and where guys, instead of just coach where they're at now, where they're going to be. And, you know, we have a few guys that have come in here that I say look like you're supposed to, you know, at an elite program. And he would be um, one of those. So he looks as good as any high school player we've signed from a physical standpoint. Now, you got to do a lot to be able to play and put that all together. But, um, you know, a lot of our guys that kind of get off the bus looking really good are portals. I'm not saying they're not good players. I'm just saying that our kind of best height speed ratio when you when you're out there looking, you kind of the wow factor. Um, he's one of our high school guys who has that already. Uh, uh, of the new guys, Malik Keith's kind of the newest of the new, getting him kind of midsummer. Just I know it's been a week, but what have you seen from him? And kind of expect to add to that receiver room. Well, I was told on my walk up here that Juice just tweeted something during practice about Malik. So. We've reprimanded Juice, as you'll see on Twitter walking up here. You know, we don't give bulletin board material. So Malik struggled early, kind of was down on all fours. And, you know, we don't do that here. And, you know, you got to get up and keep going. So I think Juice kind of took a shot at him on Twitter about how he's been trained. So we had to teach Juice. We don't give bulletin board material around here. And it ain't like Juice has won a lot of games himself. So I'm not really sure <clears throat> why he's doing that. So. Um, <clears throat> Malik has had an adjustment period, but has really flashed and made some really special plays. Actually came back after that period and um, scored a touchdown, long touchdown on the last play um, you know, of the day. So got a very high ceiling, a lot of work to do still. I noticed on both sides of the ball, it's like you're kind of experimenting with players in different spots. Is that to try to find the best 11 or is that and or to develop some depth in the event of injuries and that kind of thing? <clears throat> That's both. Um, again, even though we have similar schemes to last year, very similar, uh, we have new coordinators, a lot of new position coaches and a lot of new moving parts coming in. So, you know, you've heard us say it about, you know, thinking outside the box, creating a new box. And we try to do the same thing with personnel and not just say, okay, Here's our scheme. You got to fit into these spots. We try to figure out where are our best players, and then we'll stay in here all night figuring out schemes around that. So that takes some time. Seems like some of those second year DBs, Breedlove and Brown and Washington, are getting a little more looks this fall. Just kind of how have you seen them improve from year one to year two to help you guys out? Yeah, that's usually the biggest jump, year one to year two. And um, those DBs have looked really good. You know, I think we kind of are caught up in a world of everybody's supposed to play right away, and if you don't, you leave. And um, so those guys, I'm sure, didn't play as much as they wanted to last year. 
and you know have responded, looked really well, and will be significant players. All right, guys. Have a good weekend.